Welcome, my beautiful signs and souls of the Zodiac. I'm Brenda, Brenda Tarot, and I'm here again today to bring you your Tarot and Oracle card forecast for this week. I truly want to thank you for your interest in my channel and for viewing, liking, sharing, and subscribing. Please be sure when you do subscribe to click that little bell button and make it ring and you'll get notified immediately when any of my card readings go out for you to view. And also when I choose to go live and give out free card messages and spirit messages. As you know, this is strictly a general collective reading and that means that not every single card or the energy that they carry may resonate with every single one of you. So take what you can from it and throw the rest out into the universe for others. If you want clarity, accuracy and answers to any personal questions then I welcome and invite you to click the little icon in the top right hand corner of this video and it will take you directly to my website where you can see the services that I offer. But all that information is posted below this video. So my beautiful signs and souls of the zodiac, please view this video with an open mind. You have the mindset and free will to create the life you desire and the direction you wish to go on this personal journey. So let's get on with your reading. Welcome my beautiful, beautiful Capricorns. Here is your tarot and oracle card forecast for the week of December the 20th to the 26th, 2020. Well, Merry Christmas and wonderful happy holidays to all of you this week. Each and every one of my beautiful Capricorns. Starting off here with your energy cards here, it's showing me that you might be involved in some sort of a relationship, either with yourself or somebody else, uh, that you need to get rid of. It's not healthy, okay? So let go of a relationship that doesn't serve you anymore, including unavailable or toxic people. You deserve to be treasured by others and to be surrounded by positive people. So it's amazing how this came in right next to the devil card, right? And this is a card of addictions. This is a card of you giving up what no longer serves you. What's holding you back from moving forward in a progressive and positive, successful direction on this part of your journey? This is making all the right and healthy decisions that's, that's going to benefit you to your greater good. This could also be with you dealing with, if it's an unhealthy relationship, you could be dealing with someone who has addictive behavior. And it could be negative thinking. It could be, uh, you know, someone who keeps repeating the same mistakes and, you know, they, they don't keep their word. Or it could be somebody who actually is indulging in, uh, you know, some sort of toxic, unhealthy substance. And we can never change them. Okay, we can, we, you can only lead a horse to water and maybe, you know, it's just been a toxic relationship and you felt as though you were trapped there, you were, you've been hanging on for whatever reasons and now you've decided that you need to end it. So I think some of you are going to step up and say, you know, I've given all I can give, done all I can do and you're moving on. If, you know, your other energy card says move on to be happy, enjoy things because they're going to get better. So, you know, I think you may be leaving behind a situation that was toxic, okay? Uh, a person, a friend, uh, or a, you know, your spouse, your lover, whoever. I think you're leaving that behind. Uh, and you're also doing what's right for you. You've decided that you want to be healthy as well. So this is going to help you to become happy, okay? And go in this new direction. You're moving on in a new direction. You know, your next energy card is the owl, and that's all about wisdom, isn't it? Tapping into the lessons that you've learned, your book of knowledge, uh, all of that. And the owl is very wise, the most predatory bird out there, but knows enough to stay, you know, hiding uh, during the daylight and then goes out after dark because he has this ability to trust his instincts and see things better. So you, I think, may have been in an illusion where you thought that things would change or you went into denial with this toxic energy around you, but not anymore. Apparently, you've decided that you're going to get rid of it. 
you're going to move on in a better direction and you need to pat yourself on the back you've got the you've got the chariot here i call it the champion yeah you felt there were risks you felt there were consequences you know but you went in that ring anyway and you charged in and you let it you just let everything go you went for broke and you come out the champion at the end of the day and so whatever you've been seeking wanting to do uh, you know, you did all of it and you need to commend yourself and pat yourself on the back because this was a great achievement that you accomplished, can't, can't, uh, Capricorn, amazing. You're a great communicator, but I want to go into the all over energy here and the all over energy is the world and that means it's full circle. You're making your mark on the world now or the people around you that you, that care for you or that you want to impress or that you, you want to have around you and so you're making your mark on that and you're moving forward and it's it's full circle here uh, you know the world is your oyster and now you've realized that now some of you might be traveling you might have to be going the distance uh, to maybe your place of employment or you're having to go the distance to accomplish something that you want to happen but know that you're going to succeed and do it because the world tells us tells you that you have this ability to reach out and tap into those resources to make it happen as I was saying, you're a great communicator. You have this ability to convey uh, your thoughts, your words, um, your message across. And you do it very articulately and creatively. <clears throat> creatively, sorry. You never know when a sneeze is going to come up and you have to put it on pause. So, some of you might be joining a team because you're a great team player. You might be communicating with two other people and collaborate, collaborating your ideas and everything together to go towards one cause, one goal. And, you know, like they say, when one teaches to learn or, you know, it take two heads are better than one. So I think that you're communicating, you're going to stand up on your platform, you're going to convey this message to somebody, teach somebody, mentor somebody, or explain yourself to somebody. And it's going to benefit you at the end of the day. This could be at work. You could be working uh, towards your goals at work. It could, you know, your place of employment, your business. Uh, but you're definitely conveying a message to those around you that are going to be there by your side. Be careful of this deception card, okay? There could be somebody sneaking around, uh, skulking around, uh, spying on you, wanting something from you. Uh, you know, your success, you know, might not leave them so happy, especially if you left this toxic energy behind and they're, they're a little bit um, angry or a little bit disappointed or they, they're, they could be skulking around here. Be careful because people with addictive behavior get desperate and they do desperate things. Okay, they steal, right? They, 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 they hurt. They, they're in pain. They need to get whatever they can get to help themselves. So keep that in mind. There could be somebody around or a toxic energy around you sneaking around, but they're going to get caught, okay, because you're not stupid. You're going to be able to figure this out. <clears throat> um, and uh, they may not want to go away very fast. And what happens is when you're dealing with that kind of energy here, it may put delays uh, and slow things down for you to go forward with your plans. You might have to revise your plans because there could be something going on in the background or information that you need in the background. But I always tell people when this card comes out, I always intuitively read it, that <clears throat> leave what's sacred to you behind lock door, you know, key, a lock and key, okay? Don't leave your information or whatever's sacred to you privy to anybody's prying hands or eyes, okay? That could be anything. Remember, we're talking addictive behavior here, okay? So be careful. If you're dealing with any legal issues here, um, you certainly don't want uh, somebody looking into your taxes, your financial statements, um, your bank accounts, anything like that, okay? This is your private, uh, personal uh, information, and this is just an example because it is the swords. You need to keep cautious and conscious and mindful of that. You may be uh, hearing from somebody from your past, and they may come in with their hand in attention, affection, respect, appreciation, or even love. They could be coming in with their hand in an apology. This could be somebody from your past that may have been a friend, uh, you know, a soulmate, or may have been a lover, uh, you know, a, a romantic relationship. <clears throat> now, keep in mind, once you've been divorced and when, once you've, uh, you know, you've divorced a situation and removed it, the energy around you, you never go back, okay? Because there's big reasons why you had to make those moves. But this could be somebody, just a friend. This could be somebody, a new connection that's going to be fun to be around. They may look younger, act younger, uh, you know, 
appear younger. Uh, but you know what? You might want to connect with them. Also, I think they, they're very loyal. They're in your end of the ring. They get what you do. They understand you and they're supportive. Uh, you could also be dealing with a child, okay? When we talk about the Six of Cups, it could be dealing with a child, uh, either entertaining, mentoring, uh, you know, um, teaching, you know, disciplining, whatever the case is. Uh, there could be a child in the equation that you're going to be uh, spending time with. The Queen of Pentacles comes up, <clears throat> and this beautiful queen has that ability to nurture. I mean, they, you know, they call her Mother Earth. She has this ability to grow things. She, you know, there may be a child coming into the family fold, adoption. Uh, maybe you're, um, you know, taking in a child to take care of, uh, you know, becoming a, a mother to a child, giving birth to a child. There could be a child within the family circle coming in. But also this is a card of giving birth to your dreams. So you may be able to step up and, you know, your baby might be a brand new build, a, a business that you're opening up something that you want to do so this is a beautiful card of being able to step up and you know plant your seeds and watch something grow here beautifully keep your options open the four of pentacles shows up and that means you could be holding on to something tightly from the past it's also the the card that refers to the extremes in which you spend your money or you save your money and again this is a cautionary card to keep your wits about you and be mindful of what you're doing with your money uh, this could be the energy that you're using, giving 150% of yourself to other people, wanting to people please, wanting acceptance, and then at the end of the day, you deplete your energy and you resent it because maybe you don't get it reciprocated. So know that you can set up boundaries and say no without explanation, and no is a complete sentence. Uh, some of you might be isolating or hermitizing yourself, staying in. Remember, all work and no play makes Johnny a very boring, dull boy. You deserve to give yourself for those of you that do that, a little luxury. Get out there, enjoy life, okay, while you can, enjoy it. Your final energy card here is the dog, and this is pleasure with a close friend. So somebody could be coming in here, and like I said, they could be somebody from your past that you've reconnected with. Maybe, you know, you reconnected with them through a friend or social media or your work, uh, but somebody may be stepping forward and uh, so enjoy that company that you're going to be experiencing because I think it's a lot healthier than the one that you, the toxic one that you've had to walk away from. Now, let's see what we have for clarification here for the world card. Let's see what we have. You've got judgment. You made a judgment call and you moved on. And I think it had to do with this addictive behavior or relationship. So you moved on from it. It wasn't healthy. And now it's like a brand new beginning. And you're only going to be taking those on this part of your journey that truly get you, that want to, you know, have the same likes, dislikes, uh, and everything about you. They're going to get you. And I think this could be this reconnection here. This is beautiful. Again, you're getting rid of this toxic energy. It's a gift coming into you that you do this. Okay, you've had push-pull, you know, give and take energy going on for a while, but I think you made the break. And the gift in itself could come in the form of time, effort, support, or money. Okay, for, for whoever's, you know, waiting for something to come in. Something's taking time, you're kind of in limbo, you're, you know, you're hanging around waiting for something. And again, this could be just the energy out in our world as it is, because things are not moving quickly with this pandemic. We all know, but I'm telling you something, it's giving you lots of time to think about, to process, to plan something that when you get down and you, you can get down any time, but it's not the right time. And something might be out of your control that you can't get, on, get, hit, get, get down and start going towards your goals right now, but you will. And when you do, you're going to hit the ground running. King of Pentacles. Oh my gosh, he's the Midas Touch King the perfect card that could land on uh, what I'm talking about here. So you may be dealing with money organizations, uh, lending institutions, uh, financial uh, part of your life, but it also means that you need to be open to accept any opportunities and offers coming down your path with confidence. Okay, you can't make a mistake. He's a, This is the Midas Touch card, which means no matter what you do, you're going to come out smelling like a rose and it'll be well, well worth it. Again, the champion card. Pat yourself on the back for a major accomplishment that you're going to achieve or you just have. Okay, beautiful. Winning. Here you go again, the Six of Cups. Somebody definitely is coming in from your past. Okay, definitely. You're going to be connecting with somebody. Or it could be tapping into your inner child, realizing you need to have more fun, or communicating and entertaining and dealing with children. You are going to be communicating. Okay, so you could be communicating with children here. All right, but this is teamwork. This is conveying your message so that everybody can 
collectively and compatibly and, you know, get together on the same path. You've got an offer coming in here. Ace of Rods, beautiful. Ace of Wands says new opportunity, inspiring enthusiasm, going towards something that's new, that you're going to be able to plant your seeds and grow. Uh, this could be anything, okay? It could be something that you've been passionate about, and now you're going to take the bull by the horns, take action, and go towards this beautiful goal. <clears throat> wow. And again, the deception card, something that's going to hold you back. Well, you're going to be okay. You're making your mark on the world because, again, twice you've got the world card. Oh, no, this is the Wheel of Fortune. Good luck, okay? So something's going to work in your favor here, all right? Luck is going to shift. You're going to be able to move forward in a positive direction. The Wheel of Fortune is all about karmically and universally and divinely being sent wonderful karmic and, you know, wonderful good luck energy. Okay, so you're going to be able to move on, realizing that now it's time for you to take the bull by the horns here and go towards your passions, go towards your goals, okay? Get on the bandwagon and get those wheels going forward because we don't go backwards on the highway, we drive forward. So you're going to see some luck come into play here. Shift of energy for the better. Again, this, this, <clears throat> this energy coming in from the past. So you've got the Knight of Cups. It could be a water sign. I mean, it could be... Um, yeah, because it is cups. Cups on both. You've got this Knight of Cups coming in. Somebody coming in to sweep you off your feet, totally uh, set you back on your heels. They, you know, they definitely, it's like you've been rescued. It's like, wow, where did you come from? I'm so glad you showed up. Okay? So you could be falling in love with this, this Knight that's coming in, charging in, and you almost feel as though they're going to rescue you and sweep you off your feet. That's beautiful. This water sign, Scorpio, Cancer, or maybe a Pisces. Giving birth to your dreams here, okay? Being able to put your hands to something and see it flourish and grow in abundance. Beautiful. The emperor. And this is all because you took you took the bull by the horns yourself. Okay, this is you. You need to step up and do this. Be the leader that you are. Okay, that's what he is. The emperor is a leader. He does everything by the books. He makes sure he crosses his T's, dots, his I's. And he goes forward and stays focused. Okay, so you're going to be able to do this. Something that you're taking the leadership role on, whether you're teaching something, mentoring, you know, conveying your message through here with this Three of Pentacles, now you've got the leadership role. If you're being asked to take something on or be the boss or getting a promotion, don't hesitate because the, the King of Pentacles showed up and says you need to accept any offers coming in confidently. And you're going to get them. You're going to get them. You've got this. You've got these cards coming in showing that. So the Four of the four of pentacles is, you know, holding on, letting go of the past now, um, you know, keeping your eyes open to new possibilities. Don't be afraid to go in a new direction or accept something that because it's different. You may have depleted some of your energy being really busy and you dealt with something that totally left you exhausted. And it's time to step back and think about it and relax. Okay, you're not going to get attacked anymore. Uh, you you know, they've got this suit of armor on. They're completely in la-la land. And they're just rejuvenating, recharging, and reprocessing what it is and where they want to go. And you might need to do that as well. Okay. So, again, the dog comes in, right? Uh, pleasure with a close friend, which could be this person coming in from the past. So, you know, move on and be happy. Enjoy things because they're going to get better. Once you remove this toxic energy around you, you've learned from the past here that you want to be happy now and you're making your mark on the world and all of this is changing towards you in better, with better luck because you made this decision, this judgment call to leave this toxic situation. Well, my beautiful Capricorns, this is your reading for today and your forecast. And I wish you a great remainder to today and a beautiful optimistic week here to look forward to as we move into Christmas. The season of loving, sharing love, giving, and receiving. Please remember that the universe and the divine, your higher power, want you to succeed and find your happiness and peace. So surrender to it and move forward towards your goals and happiness. Blessings, my beautiful souls, and know that I always and only stand in this circle of love and light for you. And my blessings and prayers are that you stay in good all over health, good health and well-being, physically, emotionally, mentally, and spiritually. Please play safe, stay safe, and be safe. And I'll see you soon.